Welcome to Electric People's Car of America, formerly Volkswagen EPC. Today we are going to show you a Ford Ranger that is running a advanced DC 9 inch motor with a Curtis controller. It has an Elcon 2500 charger, DC to DC converter. Um, this is a really nice car. It's running on Trojan batteries right now, or I should say little truck. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and show you inside. So here's the uh, eight batteries that are up front. The other ten are underneath the bed. And here's the Elcon charger. We've equipped this truck with a uh, J1772 outlet so that you can plug it in at the public charging stations and charge it up on 240 volts. That's the beauty of this Elcon charger is it'll charge up on 120 like we've got it plugged in right now at the house or when we're out and about we can plug it into a public charging station and charge it up on 240 volts so here you can see the throttle assembly the pot switch is right here on the firewall there's our controller it's a Curtis controller 1231C and over there's our DC to DC converter so I'll take you around here and show you the side of the uh, truck where we have the J1772 outlet in the fuel flap area. That plugs in at the public charging stations. Inside the truck, this is your basic Ford Ranger. It's an 85 model. And it has a Sony AM FM CD player with M3 compatible. MP3 plug for it, so it's a really nice truck, fun to drive, and we'll lift up the bed and show you the batteries underneath it. We had to do a custom bumper on the back here because the bumper has to go up, tilt with the bed. Factory bumper attaches to the frame, and that would not allow the bed to tilt up. So we were, we had to manufacture our own custom bumper for the back of it. Okay, we'll tilt up the bed now and show you the batteries underneath it. So you can see we've got the bed on hinges to where it'll tilt up. And underneath the bed, there's 10 8 volt Trojan batteries. As you can see, we put some overload shocks on the back of it to handle the extra weight. And these are not my favorite battery because the lead is so heavy such a high resistance factor you're not going to get much distance out of it so it has 18 8 volt batteries right now 10 in the, under the bed and 10 in the engine compartment which is a lot of lead to carry around so what we're doing is we're offering this truck with a battery upgrade with these 200 amp hour lithium cells this is one cell which basically it's four pouches inside this plastic container wired in parallel they're 20 amp hours each and there's 10 of them so that equals 200 amp hours and if we put 44 or 45 of these cells in this truck you're going to have the equivalent to 18 of these 8 volt batteries the reason it takes so many, so many of them is because these are only 3.3 nominal volts and 3.65 to 3.7 maximum. So it takes about 45 of these, which is about $10,000 worth of batteries to run a truck like this. So we were, we're offering this truck with the new set 45 cells of lithium 200 amp hour capacity for $17,000. Now you can buy a Nissan Leaf with a 24 kilowatt power package and you can get a used one even for around twenty two thousand dollars but it's only twenty four 
kilowatts of power and you don't have the utility the, the versatility of a pickup so with this pickup at seventeen thousand dollars it'll have thirty two kilowatts of power with these batteries and forty five of those cells would equal thirty two kilowatts of power which is a substantial amount of power for a vehicle of this size and it would push it a hundred miles or more on a charge depending on your terrain and depending on how fast you drive so anyway I thought I'd show you this little Ranger it's a nice little truck it's not all beat up it's well put together it's got an aluminum billet aluminum adapter plate for the motor which you can see down there to go to the transmission it's got a dual shaft 9 inch motor so once we eliminate these batteries in the front and go to lithium we could put pulleys on it and run an air conditioner etc so this is a really nice setup and uh, it would make somebody a really nice truck for seventeen thousand dollars you would have a, a fun vehicle and be able to drive around at freeway speeds no problem for 100 miles on a charge okay thanks for watching